Whoa! Get my fresh Azoth rebuff, whatever that was, teleported back into my body. E-gads, I was on my way to win. What is all of this? All right. All right, I'm coming. Do, 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 do. Good morning, Aeternum. Sports reporter John Chalant here at the western gates of Windsward, where Elysian leader Viz has proposed an extreme cross-country and steeplechase real-terrain parkour crossfit challenge. This reporter was there to see them issue the challenge and begin the event, which they hope will mark the beginning of their great push across the island. Beginning with a simple hurdle into the first obstacle, a cliff dive to the ground below with shallow water long and to the right. The route then carried on quickly through the farm and onward past the battlegrounds where no challengers awaited to contest them. The next obstacle, a narrow river crossing into a left uphill climb to the first of many hydration and check-in stations. A mandatory stop along this route. As the runners check in at the first hydration station and continue on their way, it's clear that while not everyone is going for a record time, what is important is the teamwork being displayed here today as nobody is truly lagging behind. Up and over a small hill and onward to the next check-in station, our participants once again prepare for the next obstacle of the course. A river waterfall crossing onto rocky terrain which can be scaled but can also prove difficult if not done properly as displayed here. I'll let you decide whether or not I'm displaying the poor form intentionally. The next sequence of the run is quite simple as you check in at this hydration station just outside the war camp then enter the camp and encircle it clockwise checking in at all the additional hydration stations. And once the entirety of this circuit is complete and the rest of the team moves forward, they exit the war camp and gather again outside at this final hydration station and check-in location for the push back to town. Going over the hill and through the woods is the easy part. And so is going back into town without being killed when you're running with a CrossFit club of this caliber. From there, it is a simple stroll through town, down the stairs, and across the bridge to the final check-in station before regrouping on the western gate to run the next lap if necessary. As you can see, this many people participating in the cross-country challenge can quickly put the region into a challengeable state. And once in such state, the event culminates in moving the final finish line to the Windsward Keep. And as the final racers cross the finish line and congregate around the resting flagpole in the center, where participants celebrate their accomplishment and begin stretches and cooldowns, this stage of the triathlon comes to a close, and those who deem themselves most fit stand ready to challenge current leadership for control of the region. While there, this reporter was able to learn about an upcoming fishing tournament to be hosted this Saturday. To participate in this all-faction PvE event, contact Cooley in the description or on the card. Moving on to tonight's scheduled simulated fantasy combat resolutions, brought to you by LARPCO and their patent-pending foam core assortment of products. And up first is the Covenant Forces of Lost Homeland, giving it their all for Everfall against the forces of Elysian. Elysian last defended themselves against the marauding forces of Plankta Dogs two weeks ago at the peak of the harshest winter in Aeternum's history. For Lost Homeland, a change in strategy, diverting their efforts away from the bamboo forest preserves and healing hot springs of Ebonscale. Will this third attempt to seize land from Elysian succeed, or will it be ten straight for the champs? In the nightcap, the Covenant forces of Calculus have Abacus, will travel to the keep of Monarch's Bluff to check their math against the forces of Elysian. The mathletes of Calculus were here last week with a simple task of defining the area under a curve of any given slope, given only one point on that slope, and failed. But perhaps that test of mental ability was not in line with the aptitude of simulated fantasy combat, so let's make this week's math simple. Do they have 50 people that are ready? We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, 
KOTT News.